Desiree Stevens jumping against fouls, and we are underway in Minneapolis. Clarendon handles the ball first. Often they're number one in assists. They like to move the ball, make the extra pass, and get up and down the floor. Parker beating Collier under the hoop. Hopper in her sixth year out of Rutgers. He's giving them an offensive punch. And this is something that Kayla McBride has added as the season has gone along. She's attacking the rim. 105 and 95 respectively. Won the first, lost the second. Parker in the open floor. Oh, no, look out to Stevens. Playoff B. That's what they call him. Right again, this time taking Hoogie off the dribble. Minnesota doing some switching that time down the floor. Chicago trying to take advantage of the post hide inside. Sylvia. That is a 6 nothing run now. Quigley looks at three, but everyone else has to remain active in their offense because that's the only way she gets buckets. Stevens, boy, Vandersloot has just terrific vision and anticipation. All the coaches followed Candace Parker to wherever she was playing. And it's so cool to think back on those days as Kalia Copper gets a steal and gets a layup. And they're checking each other down low right now. Good ball movement over to Powers. Sylvia kept it alive. Sylvia fouls. Keep going. She came out of a double team to snag that offensive board. Powers starting off slowly, but Collier able to come up with a second look for McBride. Kayla McBride is dialed in. Going into overtime, and it, well, it Phoenix coming off a thrilling win against New York. And in the first round, McBride continues to be aggressive. Copper does. If the shot looks like it takes some acrobatics to get it to go down, that's the perfect assignment for Collier Copper with some air time there. In the you know of Diamond is she's versatile, so she can pass it, she can score it. There's a number of ways she can contribute. McBride, lighten it up. And the Shields with a nice step through to get the bucket. Great defense by the Shields to take it away. Chicago likes to get in the open court, it works. Chicago on top, Powers continuing to shoot. You knew it was only a matter of time. She has really come on strong. You need a copper or a shield constantly to meet the athleticism of Ariel Powers. Yeah, because she does things like this. And then nice cut to the cup, but could not get the Clarendon pass to fall, and on the other end, it's Diamond. They made the playoffs every year, so oh. they didn't trade for any, so zero lottery picks. The low Tamika catchings carried, incredible. That's a terrific look from Vandersloot into Candace Parker. Chicago already at their season average for fast break points, and only in the second quarter. Minnesota's missed 10 of its last 12 shots to fall into the six-point chasm. Got to go inside to Sylvia. Danger field. Sylvia doing a lot of work inside and not a lot since. Powers with the floater. I mean, Danger field hit a shot. Powers hit a shot. They're capable of that, but Chicago doesn't really want to work deep into the clock. That's the first shot that Fowles has taken this quarter. And a great pass. McBride gets it over to Crystal Dangerfield. Minnesota really struggling from the outside. Very high basketball IQ to facilitate an offense to her. The Shields there, she shows you what she's capable of. Very solid early. All right, Syl and Dolson. Sylvia. Oh, man. Just turns around with a little baby hook. Shot clock is off. Good screen by Dolson. Pick and roll, but they get it out to Copper. Collie a Copper calmly burying the three. And she spoke to James Wade. Coach, Coach 
Wade gave a shout out to the X Factor of Diamond to Shields off the bench. Cynthia Fowles getting inside. Aerial powers to get him a little bit more of a rhythm, but working through Sylvia Fowles in the half court. That's the key. Minnesota's got to play more half court and not play to Chicago's pace. Copper Barons. She couldn't knock down the three enough to keep the defense honest for the drive. She has worked incredibly hard on all aspects of her game. To help us out, and that is so Sylvia Fowles in her character covering up the mistake. Oh, so Aerial Powers might have taken it too many. Powers, such a key contributor. Well, when Sylvia Fowles is pulled outside of the paint, the chances of Minnesota getting that rebound go down tremendously. Silicon Block with the best of them. Parker to Vandersloot, who showed you that she's got some quickness. Stevens over fouls. It's a brave move. Sylvia takes up a lot of room and is such a menace defensively. Powers, this time, you're not going to take it away from her. Copper with the switch. She drew fouls. Vandersloot left open. To the number three seed this year in terms of historic performances like that 29 and 20 game in terms of her willingness to still do the little things for this team she told me maybe quickly left open now, candace parker just able to go up and as much as she is a great player yeah one of the, the, the nicest people that we've been around in this game sweet sill is the winner will advance to the semifinals, Phoenix, with an upset win in Seattle in overtime earlier today. Didn't miss a lot of shots, but when they did, they didn't have anybody there to gather it. Bridget Carlton's in pain out of bounds for Minnesota as Quigley nails the three. You're going to hate to lose this game and see these plays run back. They're dictating all the aggressiveness. They absolutely are, I agree. And after a great defense, what does Minnesota do? Turn it right over. Also a subpar offensive game for Nafisa Collier, just five points. She's missed seven of her nine shots. Powers gets it to fall. Quigley calmly hits the shot. And Ariel Powers has had some moments, but other than that, again, defensively, they've been solid. This is their bread and butter. Steal it, take it in, and right now, this game is getting away from Minnesota. It's not allowed them to get the looks they wanted to, to Sylvia, and they also haven't been patient and disciplined enough to do that. That'll help. The Shield, some daylight, took it, but it rimmed out. Big Stevens. Chicago plus 14, a lot of drives and shutting down fouls since the first quarter. And also credit with Chicago how they slowed down the drive. And they have not played for a week. There's the roll of fouls, but the Shields came over. McCann's three. Minnesota trying to shoot themselves back in the lead. Minnesota with its fourth three in this 12-2 run. Quigley answers. Wow, how quick was that release? I don't even think she had her feet set. Seven-game losing streak followed by a seven-game winning streak earlier in the season, and here's the story of the game. Somehow Vandersloot able to finish over fouls. McBride, sort of a desperation three, and it backs in. After the first quarter, they turned on the Jets and win this game. Candace Parker and Hazard Stevens with the embrace, and the Chicago Sky are going to the semis.